Yo, 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 yo. So, what's up, everyone? Vlog 34. I am taking out this bad boy tomorrow. Tomorrow is the start of Hurricane Larry. I recently talked about it in my last, not this past vlog, but the vlog before that, about safety of surfing hurricanes. I have no intentions of surfing this hurricane. This is supposed to be one of the biggest storms we've had in a while on the East Coast. So I am not going to chance trying to get out there in 11, 12 foot waves. But tomorrow we have, it's supposed to be a little choppy, but I'm going, this is with work, this is the day that I have tomorrow to go surf. So I'm gonna make the best out of it. I'm gonna get on this board. I'm gonna, I have not opened the board yet because I haven't used it. So I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown of what comes with the board and then I will ride it and let you know how the riding goes. It's going to be a solid board review. I have a very beginner intermediate between their riding ability. So this is a seven foot board. Um, and yeah, it's more for, it's meant for that level. So let's cut to me doing that little bit of a review right now. All right, so this is the seven foot log, the catch surf log, the Evan Roselle, Roselle, Roselle model. I'm gonna get, I hope I got that right. Um, sorry if I didn't. And then, so he is the owner of Harry Fools. He is an artist, does, Stylistically, this, um, I'll just put a uh, picture of his style, but I thought his board was very cool, uh, so I decided to grab one. Um, this is 70 liters, uh, so it is still has a lot of volume to it. Um, it's not really meant for like big waves, but for me, uh, at my next level of surfing, uh, an eight foot, I was kind of Trying to, I was trying to ride eight foot, my eight foot wave storm in conditions that were not ideal for it. And I was wiping out. So I did a little research and this baby is the next step down. I have a six foot fiberglass, but I'm struggling to ride that board. I've struggled multiple times. I'm not even gonna lie. So. I'm taking the next step down, something in the middle that will hopefully get me to that six foot board for when I can ride it for the better, bigger conditions. Um, so this one comes with this sticker pack, um, which is dope. Not all of them come with that. It's because he made those stickers himself. And then it is, then this is the graphic on the bottom I saw in my last vlog. Um, it's a very sturdy board. I know it has the three stringer uh, center for keeping it together uh, stability wise um, I, I'm really excited to ride this board I've rode not this exact model but I've for the Red Bull Foam Wreckers I rode a seven foot log in Long Beach Island and in Atlantic City I rode a six foot log the six foot log was cool but for me my level of surfing I wasn't wasn't fully what I needed, uh, but I think uh, when I was on the seven foot, I really enjoyed it. It was next level. I was like, all right, let's do it. So finally, I'm stoked to have this board. You also get a catch surf sticker in here. And this is like a, um, this is a, shows you all the boards that you could get from all the catch surf models and Give me one second, as you guys can see, and you get this awesome Jamie O'Brien catch surf poster that will go up on my wall. Uh, but I'll probably put that one on my wall since it's a little newer. That is the board. It's a seven foot log, 70 liters by catch surf. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna take it out tomorrow. It's supposed to be a little choppy, but it's supposed to be around four foot. So hopefully we can catch some waves with the extra liters in here and I can give you a solid review. If I don't get enough footage of a solid review, I'll throw some extra footage in for you when I do get out next week. But yeah, so I just wanted to get this now for you guys. So I had a lot of room on there for the surfing tomorrow for footage. So yeah, I will see you in the morning and we're going to head out surfing.
Uh, oh, by the way, it also comes with three fins. Uh, they're like the high performance catch surf fins. Uh, it comes with those and it has fin boxes that you can put the fins in and interchange them. I believe they're FCS2 uh, fins. So yeah, just wanted to say that real quick. Cool. Fins on, got the bag ready to go. Let's head down to the beach. All right, what's up, people? We just made it down here. The, everyone is frothing for the next two days. It's pretty big now. I'm gonna try to go out for a little bit and test this board out. Pre surf banana. <laughs> but it's really choppy. So We'll see, we're gonna do the best we can. But I just grabbed a leash, cause I forgot to get one when I got the board. But we're gonna try it out. by waves, let's try to catch one. up at the beach now uh, I 
was really hard on myself on this pass, like trying to catch some of these waves. I was really struggling to like get anything. I kept going through like the rinse cycle of just, just kept going under and under and under and pulled by the rip. And I realized that that's okay. And you have off days and I just got the mouth floaty, uh, the mouth bite mount with the floaty. This is a brand new board. First time ever riding it and it's extremely choppy so any of those things are going to definitely play a role into it i'm not blaming them on any specific thing but tried to go out a couple times probably three or four times and none of them were super successful but i really like this board so far i can't wait to ride it on a day where i'm a little more comfortable on it and it's a little less choppy but I'm gonna try to get down here Friday before I work because the waves are supposed to be three times the size of what they were today. And if that's any inkling of seeing them today is any inkling of what they're gonna look like, it's gonna be huge. I will not be surfing in those, but I will definitely be going down to check it out and just watch some other people surf because it's always good to watch and learn. So, cool, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll end it there. If we end it here, peace.